Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all doing well today. And in today's video, I will be doing a music review of Pearl Jam Vitology. Um, this album came out during 1994 and it was like, again, this album was like a mixed review from fans. A lot of fans tend to lo love this album. And then you got other fans that were like really like into them from uh, 10 and Versus. And when they heard this, they were like, nah, I'm out. Cause there were some, let's say, obscure kind of like weird soft tracks in this album that I'll get into but it's not that bad and I actually don't mind the filler um songs from this uh, album but it's really funny annoying and I, I tend to enjoy it but um I get a good laugh out of it but yeah like Vitology is a great album um and I'll show you what it looks like here's the front the back um really nice uh picture there of the band there's eddie and everyone else in there really cool picture right there um but yeah let's get into the tracks so the first track from this album is last exit um really great start to open like really great opener for an album and you hear like this um like drums and like just the band practicing and then it starts to get right into the music with like the drums and it sounds really like powerful and everything but really great song um to get into and loud fun uh great chorus everything about this track to start this album is amazing last exit is a really killer uh song next you got uh spin the black circle which is a song that talks about the love for vinyl. Um, in the booklet here, it says Viva la, Viva la Vinyl, which means Long Live Vinyl. Because um, I think at this time, CDs during 94 were getting like really like popular and everyone was kind of like forgetting about vinyl and how it was still important and how it was still magical in a way. So uh, I guess they had to, you know, just remind everyone that, hey, vinyl is important. Even though we have CDs, we still need to like listen to vinyl more because even now, um, like even now it's important because we're still, even though we have streaming and stuff like that, we still always tend to go to the physical stuff like vinyl and CD. But um, yeah, interesting to see how during that time CDs becoming this big thing. But uh, yeah, definitely Spin the Black Circle, really great track um, and loud as well. Then next you got not for you which is oh man crazy like the beginning of the song is kind of creepy in a way but then as soon as the like instrument starts to hit and the eddie you hear eddie's voice and the lyrics it's really great and i feel like the drummer for this uh track and for last exit it's just an amazing job with this album um yeah his name is david abruzzi is the drummer and he was only during them for a short amount of period but um, during this album, it shows like, well, he got good skills for drumming, for drums. But yeah, Not For You, great song. Um, pretty much a song that was talking about how it's, this is a song that is not for people that, you know, don't like us or want something from us, but we can't give it to them. This is a song only for our fans. It's not for you. And I think uh, Eddie had to just, you know, tell everyone what it was about because Everyone was like, what is this song about? What are you trying to say? So he had to explain it to everyone, which is funny. But a great, great song. And then next you got Tremor Christ. Um, this is a song that, you know, is good, but like not one of my favorites, but I could still listen to it. Maybe it'll grow on me one day, but Tremor Christ is a, don't really know what the song's about, but it'll probably grow on me if I listen to it more. I know that tends to happen with a lot of people, uh, especially for this song, but it's a good song. Um, then next we got Nothing Man, which is absolutely one of my favorites. Nothing Man is a song that like I can't listen to a lot because it'll maybe like lose the like lose the how much it means to me and the importance of it. Just everything about the song from the way it starts off from like the guitar, it just has like a beautiful tone to it and well, really nost nost really nostalgic in a way. Um, but such a beautiful powerful song slow ballad because um for this album especially like the four songs last exits in the black circle not for you and tremor christ are really like hard hitting songs and they get to you and they don't take any breaks it's just like loud song after loud song after loud song 
and then nothing then just slows it down and it's just like calm and steady but um yeah great song for nothing then and there is a demo version also for this um which is one of my favorites i love the demo and original studio version but yeah definitely check out nothing then and then we got whipping which is a short track but really catchy and once you get into it it starts to um just end because it's like one of those fast songs but really great um song i i love it a lot and the chorus is like really catchy to sing along to and fun as well and Eddie's vocals on this track and every other track is like crazy. He's literally like killing his voice with it. But um, yeah, he's screaming and everything. It's really great. And then we got the the filler tracks that nobody likes, but I tend to enjoy. Uh, this is Pride 2, which is Eddie pretty much talking about privacy and saying P-R-I-V-A-C-Y uh, means privacy to me. Um, just at the time, like he needed privacy because he was like, getting big and famous and everything and I think he wasn't too comfortable with it so he wrote a song about that it's a short like track and um I think if you play it backwards it says Pete Townsend saved my life which is pretty cool because Eddie was a big Pete Townsend Who fan and everyone knows it if, if you hear it you could hear like the kind of influences throughout some songs but yeah interesting song I like it and then we got Corduroy one of everyone's favorite songs from there um yeah great chorus um everything about this song is great i have no bad things to say about this song um i'm just really biased when it comes to pearl jam because i will love all their stuff no matter what um but yeah one of everyone's absolute favorite songs and then we got bugs um a song that is really creepy not creepy but the lyrics if you're not a fan of bugs i wouldn't suggest you listen to this song because he does talk about bugs and even listening to Sun Nighttime will give you the creeps because it's the song pretty much talking about bugs and how they're in your hair and they're on the wall and calling and everything <laughs> but um it's it's a, a really funny song if you listen to it and it's it's not really scary but if you don't like bugs don't listen to this um but yeah he uses like the accordion but it still sounds cool and I, I enjoy it um but yeah, it's a short, another track that nobody likes, but uh, I enjoy. And then we got uh, Satan's Bed, which is one of my absolute favorites. Literally, as soon as I woke up this morning, this song was playing in my head. Oh man, it's so cool. Um, the chorus to this is really catchy. And I feel like if I were ever to see them, I'd want to see Satan's Bed live, perform that live. That would be so cool to see that. Um, but yeah, great song. Then we got Better Man, which is everyone's absolute favorite songs um this is like another slow quiet song um and then it starts to pick off during the end but like during the end it has like this almost euphoric feeling in a way um i just love it I, there's two different versions for this one is this is the studio version and then the other one is um the guitar and organ only version but both versions sound absolutely beautiful and you get just decide which one which um songs you prefer because they have two different versions during this for this album which is nice right there if you could see it properly but yeah great song i love it a lot um and then we got i davanita which is another filler song that nobody likes but for me i love it it sounds really groovy and the lyrics are just simple just repeating I Davanita but the guitar and the way it sounds is just really fun and smooth I guess you could say but I enjoy it a lot and then to finish off the album technically finished but uh it's Immortality um hold on guys one sec sorry about that guys I have to cut right there but um what was I getting into Immortality yes now this is one of my favorite favorite songs from Pearl Jam ever like if you were to ask me this definitely recommend this song Immortality um now people used to think during this that time during 94 that this was a song about Kurt Cobain and when he passed away and everything but um because there is some maybe like words that maybe sounded like it was coming from him that he was writing for him but um, Eddie talks in like interviews and stuff during that time. He's like, no, this was a song that had nothing to do with Kurt. It was just a song that I was going through during that time. 
But I feel like everyone, um, no matter what, uh, could definitely relate to this song, no matter where you are in life. Um, it's really nice to hear how, you know, sometimes you can't really express the way you feel, but when you hear this song, Immortality, it's literally like, thank you, finally someone who understands um, how I feel. And I thought I was the only one going through this, but it's nice to, you know, especially when you read the lyrics and like, you're like, yes, okay, I get it. Like, I thought I was the only one who like thought like this or anything, but um, just a perfect song. Um, the guitar on this is amazing. It's like really like, I love the way it builds up and the lyrics, again, 10 out of 10 lyrics. Like, I, I love this track a lot. And um, yeah, perfect way to end an album. I should have ended this song, ended this song for this album. But there is a song I'm going to get into that is not even a song. I don't even know if you call it a song. But it's Hey Foxy, Mama Pando Mama, That's Me. And after, when I hear this song, I just take it out. Like, it just creeps me out. I don't know what it is about this so song. It's not even a song. It's just a lady. I think they're in, like, a sane asylum, a sane asylum or something. And she just talks about weird things and creepy stuff. So I'm just like... Yeah, after Immortality, I'm out. I'm like, no, I'm taking this out right away because it's kind of creepy. Just like what she's saying and everything, but I don't listen to this and a lot of people like do not like this track. I don't even know like anyone who likes this, but this is a song probably you only want to listen to once and just take out right away. Maybe for fun of it, but I was listening to it yesterday and I got creeped out again, so I was like, ah, nah. I skipped that and um, yeah, I went to the three bonus tracks that we get off this album. Not really bonus, but demos and just different takes. Um, like I said, we got the Better Man guitar and organ only version, um, which is beautiful. Slower than the original um, studio version, but both are really amazing. If you want it to be more slowed down, listen to the organ and guitar version. Um, but yeah, great. I love it. Um, really beautiful, the, the organ and this song as well. Um, and then we got Corduroy Alternative Take, which is nothing really different. Only thing different about this is the lyrics maybe change or alter between. But yeah, and then Nothing Man, which is the demo. I, I love the demo. It sounds so raw and just the lyrics are different. Um, but it still sounds beautiful, slow. One of the songs you just want to hear when you're driving, maybe like out in the, in the forest or the woods or whatever, you know, just maybe walking to the song, especially, and just sitting down in the beach and just listening to this. It's just, that's what I get every time I want to hear this uh, song, Nothing Man. But yeah, really great album. If you don't like the filler tracks, just you'll tend to love this album, but I'm running out of time. Anyways, bye guys. See you in my next video. Check out all the songs like Nothing Man. Um, I'm running out of time, but anyways, bye guys. <laughs>